oftentimes when I ask people what they want out of life, they simply say, I just want to be happy. Now, what this presupposes is that it's not about the thing. It's not about what they're doing, or what they have. It's about the internal experience of whatever that thing might be. And Tai Chi and Qigong are wonderful practices to help to clear that emotional window, to bring this sense of clarity and balance so that we can truly experience the world without putting our own muck, our own dirt, our own smears upon it. And for the most part, what we're talking about here is the liver, as the liver is the, the general, it's the planner. It moves energy throughout the entire body, and this has both a physical and an emotional component. So physically, it moves everything and is the controller, the commander of G. Emotionally, it wants to keep everything free-flowing. So if you feel sad, great, sadness goes through, you have a big cry, and we're moving on to the next thing. When the liver gets blocked up, it creates levels of frustration. It can create anger, which shows up as like, you know, frustration, sticks rubbing together, poof, that creates fire. It can create heat, explosions, irritability, and all sorts of issues that will affect all the other organs, you know, cortisol in the heart and, and that type of thing, and, uh, and can really blur our experience of life. So why don't we hop up and work on it? Let's go. We're going to start with a little bounce. Through this whole practice, go ahead and let your breathing be nice and strong. It can all be through the nose or in the nose, out the mouth, depending on what we're doing. And as we bounce, make sure you're getting into your knees and let's get nice and vigorous here. We're aiming to move the energy around and we're not gonna do that with little dainty things. We really wanna get ourselves going here. You might notice that my hands are very relaxed and moving. It helps to open up all the channels and open up the source energy that's in the wrist. We're getting a little bit of the source energy in the ankle, in the, yeah, the ankles as well. But mostly what we're doing is clearing out the lymphatic system. And we'll let ourselves bounce a little bit here. Lymphatic system, uh, doesn't move, it doesn't have a pump. So if we don't move it, it doesn't move. And that holds all of these toxins and all the gross stuff in with it. So if we don't get around and move very regularly, and especially the areas inside the inguinal region, right inside the armpits, then it just gets stuck and we start feeling toxic. The other thing you can do is to Shake your hands out. Up can be a little difficult with the movement, but in time you might get the feel for it. Or you can bounce out and let's focus on the armpit. See if you can feel the vibrations moving through your armpit as the whole body shakes together. Little bit faster, little bit faster, little bit faster. Okay, very good. Drop the hands down. Concentrate on your shoulders. Feel your shoulders relax here. Loosen the entire body so we can move everything through. Excellent. And our clearing breath, pulling down the heavens where we inhale and exhale, sending all of the impure down to the earth. We'll do this three times.
Now let's reverse it. Notice how much the legs are moving. Where we inhale, bringing the earth up and exhaling, pushing all these old toxins out away. Again, we pull the frequency of the earth in and we exhale, pushing out and away. Relaxing as you do it, letting your breath match the movement and all the way out we go. This time we're going to dive down, crop the hands and use the fingers as paint brushes to pull the energy up the inside, across and shake it out. We'll come up the outside channel and then push and really send down out the feet across in the channel around and down and you can shake here too in Excellent. Center on in. Let's get a little bit of that angst out. I always like to get a bit of balance training everywhere we can. Feet are out. They're pivoted outward. The knees go out towards the feet, keeping them nice and happy. Spine stays straight. Only go as deep as you can go without moving the spine. Now this will be similar to what we did before. We're pushing out. Your palms are very powerful. So as we clear, we push, sending this arc out and away, and then we sink down into the legs. Center in, inhale, we follow that channel, bringing the energy up, put up our tiger claws, and it's an intense squeezing the muscles, tendons, focusing your direction forward with the eyes, and sink as we push. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Down. We pull. Focus. Pulling up the channel. Concentrate. Push. Squeeze everything. You relax more here, it's more energetic. Focusing, and then. Come on up, and we'll focus directly on the liver. So the feet are about hip width apart, maybe a little bit more. And the liver is on the right hand side, so I'll mirror you here. Liver's on your right. You take your right hand and push out and away. The palm holds that vibration. It pushes the old, the stuck, and the stagnant away from the liver. Then you inhale and focus on the opposite palm. Well, you, the opposite palm will go out, but you focus on this inhale, bringing the chi back in. So we're turning, pushing, turn, pull. Turn, push. You'll notice the legs sink, keeping us connected to the earth. The focus is on the liver. <clears throat> Pulling and pushing. And once you get that, 
you can get the feeling of a forest. You're pulling a deep, dark, green forest into the liver and pushing out stale and stuck. Inhale, pull in the flesh. Exhale, push out the stagnant. And once again, we settle back in. Let's actually bring our feet together here. We'll inhale, rising. Exhale, dropping down. Movement comes up and down. There's a sensation that your breath is moving your hands. No muscle is required as we slow down and calm. Good. Stepping out. Our chi should be moving nicely now. So we'll Bring the focus up to the heart, which is the emperor, the commander. It is the center, the main energy center that we feel our emotions through. We'll bring the hands up the sides, all the way up, and exhale down. If you want to add a little something to this, she just went down. You can bring your middle finger down a little bit in this kind of emotion. So as we rise up, feel the opening here. And then as you come down, turning the wrist and then sending that middle finger down. The pericardium is the protector of the heart and it ends right at the tip of your middle finger. So yeah, when you give someone the finger, you're just showing them your heart protector. As you breathe, go ahead and create that resistance so you're pushing out. A couple more here. Now inhale up, relax in. Your palms are radiating pure chi right back to the heart. The heart is radiating back to the palms. The elbows are up, shoulders are relaxed. We're not too close, we're not too far. Now from here, there's a connection between the heart makes its way out to the palms. It's actually a pericardium point right here as well. And the palms radiate back into the heart. This all creates this nice big bubble of chi that you'll probably be able to feel if you've been doing this for any amount of time. And if not, stick around. I'll give you some videos to help feel the chi more strongly. Curve your hips under and soften your knees so you're connected to the earth. Feeling the points, the kidney points right at the bottom of the foot here, connecting. Feel the string connecting up to the center of the heavens, the center of your head. And we're going to hold here for a moment. 
concentrating the mind on the center of the heart. And you're going to find the most pleasant, clear, light, magical, joyful, happy, serene sensation that you can feel inside of your heart or inside of your chest area. And once you have that sensation, amplify it. Soften the breath. Soften the body. There's nothing except this beautiful sensation in the center of your heart to focus on. Feel that sensation as it transfers through every cell in your body. It goes out through your fingertips. It goes up into your mind. It radiates down into your belly, your liver, your feet and legs. And as your whole body becomes coherent, vibrating in this beautiful sensation, And it starts to emanate out from you. Sense, or perhaps even with your eyes soft and unfocused, you can see a light egg, a bubble around you of this beautiful sensation. Feel your ears opening up, connecting with every sound around you. The edges of your skin and the hair, all dancing in delight. And then when you're ready, we can bring this sensation back in. Inhale, drawing, thank goodness, drawing it back into the center of your belly. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, soften in, grounding it down. We can bring the hands back to the kidneys, everything is connected and then right back into your core.